Let's talk about how to choose, prepare and program a proxy crystal. Uh, this is my proxy crystal that I use for remote work. Uh, it is a laser wand, a diamantina. I like it because of its shape. It reminds me of a woman in profile. And um, I can map the crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral and root chakras on the crystal and there's the feet and here's the head. And that's what you want to be able to do with the proxy crystal. You want to be able to map where the chakras are. Does your proxy crystal have to be big like Neil's, this one over here? No, it doesn't. This is uh, an amazing generosity that Neil has decided to use this extraordinary golden healer laser wand as his proxy and that obviously emits a wonderful strong light especially with the golden healer energy there and that's a very nice size for working on uh, but that is not what's necessary all that's necessary is a reasonable size like these and you can see these are very regular quartz crystals uh, you don't want to have too much action and you don't want to have no action. So action, veils, barnacles, rainbows, you want a little bit but not too much because you basically want to program the proxy crystal yourself. Uh, however, having a vibe of its own is important. It needs a personality. It can't be neutral. It can't be entirely blank. So the personality of this one comes to me from the light in the crystal and the light changes very nicely showing me what's going on and then the formation looking like a woman from the side and I love using this as a proxy crystal and it's almost the smallest one on the board except for this one. This is also a good one to use. So very nice. That's how to choose a proxy crystal. Clear quartz is best. That's true. And then, when you want to clear the crystal, you turn it upside down. So there's the head, there's the bowl, and you simply stroke seven times into the bowl. And you're thinking to yourself, your intention, I am clearing my proxy crystal. And then, in order to program it to receive the energy body of the client, again, using the bowl, you stroke seven times from head to foot. I am preparing my proxy crystal to receive the energy body of my client. That's it. And it does change, the feeling changes as you reach the magic number seven. If you do more than seven, no problem. I wouldn't want to do less than seven. And then you simply take the proxy crystal. Let's get these out the way. Put your board in position. And there we are, ready to begin the remote session.